And have Democrats wasted the last two years of governing over fruitless obsessions? With the Mueller report now winding down and the Democrats stepping back from their calls to impeach Trump, was the Democratic obsession over Trump in Russia really worth it for their party? Here with answers, Glenn Greenwald, founder of The Intercept. Glenn, it's great to see you. Like, you noticed that hardly any of the Democratic presidential candidates, and the list is growing seemingly by the day, they even mentioned Trump in Russia. So is reality finally sinking in for the Democrats or some of these new polls about Mueller uh, really what they're thinking about? Yeah, we actually saw this, Laura, during the 2018 midterm where the uh, victorious uh, Democratic candidates, knowing their local districts really well, almost never mention what the Democratic National Committee and MSNBC, excuse the redundancy, have spent the last two and a half years obsessing on to the exclusion of virtually everything else, which is not just the claim that Trump colluded with Russia, but that Russia actually controls Donald Trump in some sort of you know, um, Clancy kind of espionage way um, as a result of blackmail or other kinds of leverage that disappeared from the winning campaigns of 2018 because they know that people don't wake up in the morning worried about Putin. Um, and the 2020 candidates now see that the wheels are falling off the cart of the Mueller investigation and barely mention it at all in recognition of that fact. And Glenn, at Pelosi, I noticed she was out there today in Missouri and she was she was backtracking a little bit on that big bombshell admission last week on President Trump and impeachment. Let's watch. And I said, he's not worth it. It got your attention. I've been saying this for two years, that he shouldn't be impeached. But when I said he's not worth it, then it got the press. And what he's not worth is the financial stability of America's working families, and that's what we're trying to correct. And when the time comes, we'll see. Well, do you believe her? When the time comes, we'll see. Just, just think, please think about how stupid that is, what she just said. The, the overriding theme of the Democrats for two and a half years, going back to the 2016 election, as I said earlier, is that Donald Trump is blackmailed by or controlled by the Kremlin and forced to do things against the interest of his own country, the United States, and in favor of this foreign adversary. Now, if that were true at all, if Robert Mueller had any evidence of that and hasn't shown it to us, he would almost be guilty of treason. And if Nancy Pelosi really believes that Donald Trump is serving the interest of Russia, and decides, oh, we're going to just take our time in removing him from control over the nuclear arsenal and the executive branch and the military until we feel like we're ready to do it. You would wonder, does Putin have something on Pelosi, too? Why would you leave in place somebody controlled by the Kremlin for two years if you really believed it, if you really have an evidence for it? And, of course, they have yeah. none, and they don't have the integrity to just well, admit Glenn, that. Glenn, just two months ago, she's on Twitter... And she's tweeting, what does Putin have on Trump? And then the whole press corps in the United States just forgets that she said that. Just two months ago. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know where I, I know you know we've been working on um, an expose about some really incredibly criminal acts on the part of the Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro, who's in Washington this, this week. Yes, he's here. To meet with... Donald Trump, and there you, yeah, and and there you, and, and actually he's going to be on Shannon Bream's show next, I believe. There you see like what a real scandal looked like. He's only been in office for two months. There's incredible amounts of concrete, tangible evidence that has been publicly disclosed, linking him to the world's worst paramilitary gangs and extrajudicial murderers in the country. That's what a real yeah. scandal looks like. Instead, in the U.S., we have two years of speculation and conspiracy theorizing and all kinds of espionage fantasies that the Democrats are now realizing is never going to come to fruition. Mueller has well, not indicted one American for the crime you know of collaborating say, Glenn, with the Russians, and people well, don't think he's going to. Glenn, I'll also say, we're almost out of time, we, there may have been places in areas where we could have worked with Russia, even with our disagreements about Crimea or whatever. But there, there may have been things that we could have worked on with Russia that we couldn't do because of Mueller hanging over Trump. I mean, just maybe. Uh, this is the key... 
That's the key point. The Bulletin of Atomic Scientists says that one of the two greatest threats that humanity faces is the possibility of nuclear war between Russia and the U.S. Obama tried to work with Putin yeah. in Ukraine, in, the, in Iran, in Syria. Trump wanted to also and just hasn't been able to because every time he did, they said, aha, that's proof that he's Ridiculous. a Kremlin stooge. Uh, Glenn, thank you so much. And